the summer day has come and gone away. I'm originally from Bergen, Norway, and over there, I think the biggest difference there is there's a lot more mountains, and the ocean is right there. I mean, I live right on the ocean, so the biggest difference is, I would say, between here and there is just um, like what things look like and the surrounding, like here's flat and land fields, and there it's uh, mountains and like ocean, like I said, and just more things to do outside, I guess, than more adventure stuff, I guess. Kind My of mom stuff. is originally from Ottawa, so that's why we moved back here to America, and my family, well, most of my family lives in Ottawa, that's where we're from, and so we had lived there for, since I was in the third grade, so about 11 years I've been back here. I guess the reason so. I came to Bluffton was because it's close, so I still live at home and I commute, so I guess it was just, um... I don't know, like, it was easy to come here, and I liked the the Christian faith and things like that that are on campus, and um, it's small, I didn't want to go to like a big university, so it's comfortable for me to, to be here, and I'm close to my family, and I can still kind of get out and, and do things on my own. So. Um, I don't know if I have a whole lot about Bluffton, just because I live so close for, like, through my schooling. Um, comparing it to Norway, I would probably say... There's a lot more, um, I would say over there people are a lot more tied to their family and family and friends and spending time with people you're close to is a lot more important there or it seems to be more of a priority there than it is here. But that, like I said, the biggest things in the beginning were just getting used to the flat area and just, there's not, I mean there's things to do but not compared to, I lived in a bigger city there so I guess that plays a role as well but just um, getting used to I guess a language as well would be a difference. I'm um, getting used to just living like every day here rather than, you know, doing things over there. When I was little, we would go outside and play and things like that. But here, kids are, you know, glued to the TV and things like that. So I think that's the biggest thing, like, from a little kid um, perspective. Most of the traditions, I would say, go back to, um, and talking about Norway, would be, like, around Christmas time and birthdays. Like, over there, for birthdays, it's kind of a big deal. Um, I guess there's more celebration, and, and again, that's probably because when I lived there, I was younger, so it was a bigger deal to have a birthday, I guess, but, and then Christmas, again, is just, um, the same basic traditions with a tree and everything, but I think the biggest tradition would be just be the value that they have on family and the people that you're close to, and just, um, well, my dad still lives there, so I'd probably say my dad, I miss the most, and my grandma lives there, and I have a great grandma that lives there, she's, um, She's 99, so I miss her as well. I wish I could see her before um, she turns 100. But um, aside from family, I think I miss just the atmosphere there. Um, I like doing things outdoors and, and doing things rather than just sitting at home or something like that. So I miss kind of um, hiking and things like that. I miss um, the food. I'll say it's really good there, so I miss the food. Um, but just like life in general, I think it's, it's I feel like it's more relaxed there. Than it is here. Another summer day has come and gone.